But this last video is so much closer, but it is. So last topic video of 2018, holy crap. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make sure because I believe this is the last one, right? One, two, three, four, five, yep. The next one you'll see. So a bit of housekeeping, the first video, the first Sunday topic video you will see in 2019, which is January 6th, right? Right, one, two, three, four, because there's five Sundays in, January, in December. So the first one you will see January 6th will be a house tour. I have been talking about this forever. <sighs> And I've just been like slacking. So <laughs> the next video, the first video, the first topic video, so Sunday, January 6th, that you will see will be a house tour of my new new place. <laughs> Cause I have moved. I told y'all I moved, and that's why the backgrounds are different. Um, I will also have my uh, mukbang and ASMR channel fully ready to go. So it's called Chicago ASMR. There's only two subscribers. That's how you know it's mine for now. Um, and that will be done every six months. So you'll see videos consistently, but I film a bunch and release them every six months. So right now I'm filming as much as I can. And then that last week of December, I will upload all the videos so that from January to June, you have videos and I will be filming from December, from January to June. And then from July through December, you will have more videos. So the seasons will be off. Like there's a Halloween video that I filmed after I came back from a parade. So that's why you, like I said, you won't see that. You will not see that one. So I, I kind of, I guess I was procrastinating so I could finally get to the topic. I'm gonna move the camera closer. So I'm gonna actually, I don't know why I'm so far off the wall. I like leaning against the wall. So, so I'm gonna say something and you're probably not going to agree. And I'm not going to care. And the heat comes back on. I wish I could turn it off, but it's like, it's not, it's not cold. It's not, um, it's not hot out here, okay? It is cold and it is, oh, holy crap, it got warmer actually. So I can probably not have this on overnight, thankfully, because I really don't like having this on all night. It's above freezing, okay? It's four degrees above freezing Fahrenheit in Chicago right now. So that's because it's not windy. If it was windy, it would be less. Not the point. So topic. I don't mind ghosting. I ghost on motherfuckers. I do. Meh. And I know that's awful. So many people have so many things wrong. Ghosting is abusive and ghosting's awful and you're an awful person and blah, blah, blah. Hear me out. Almost everything is objective. Not almost, there are a lot of things that are objectively bad. They're just not good. There's no good reason to do things. And there's a good reason to murder people. But there's just certain things that's not good. There's a good reason to do. Like rape and pedophilia. No reason is a good reason, okay? But let me let me tell you about ghosting. So if you know what ghosting is, it's just kind of generally it's when you're in a relationship or you know you're talking to someone, you're gonna be in a relationship, whatever. You're serious? I'm gonna have a question mark. You're actively engaged with them back and forth, possibly daily, every few days, something like that. All of a sudden they just go ghost they all contact is gone they stop talking they stop calling they stop texting perhaps they delete and or block you from social media and you're kind of left picking up those pieces and let me tell you why a lot of people don't like ghosting in my opinion right this is my opinion because I'm in favor of, of ghosting in certain circumstances because it leaves a lot of things open. People were attached, you don't get closure. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, there's these lingering questions. I think closure is a big one, that people don't get closure. And I'm here to say, sometimes fuck your closure, right? And again, I say this not because I'm like in favor of all ghosting, right? Just, oh, that girl's about to have your baby, ghost on her. No, that's not what I mean. But there are certain types of relationships you need to get the fuck out of. There are certain situations you need to get the fuck out of. And you need to get out of there fast. And you need to leave 
with no trace. Don't leave them a phone number. Fuck mutual friends. You just gotta burn every bridge and burn the ashes, okay? And that is okay. Like there was a, a thing, a, someone had posted online. I'd seen it make the rounds before on social media where she like went to her boyfriend's and she found out he was cheating on her. She like had a key to his apartment. She found out he was cheating on her. She fucking dipped. Bitch dipped. And she was like moving out of her house. She moved, she moved to a different part of the city, had a different job, blocked him, told all her family and friends, don't talk to this nigga, this is what happened, we're not together anymore. Boom. And that's it. No closure. For him, right? You don't know him, she don't know him, no closure. Mmm. You know, he fucked up with the closure when he was opening some other bitch's legs. Like, that's it, right? You owe him nothing. I have another situation. A friend of mine, um, there's a, a friend that they had, and their friend was just, like, not really a good friend. Like, they have, eight, like, has got issues, right? That they're not working through, they're not working toward working through them. They just want to consistently, like, they just have problems, and they push a lot of my other friend's friends away. And he is just, he's like, listen, I can't be there for you emotionally, right? And he's tried before, but this time I was like, yo, you really got to go, ghost. You know, this person was like, I'm going to, you know ruin your friendship he's up because he has a roommate i'm gonna ruin your friendship with your roommate i'm gonna show up at your job i'm gonna show up at your house my friend i was like you have to get the cops involved just like and he's like i know that you see my messages because he didn't block him he didn't do so he was like you know he saw that he saw his messages my friend sent him one more message it was like oh and then he deleted him right like my thing was so my friend he had tried to do the whole go ghost thing before and then i i don't know what like motivated him to reach back out to that person but then that galvanizes someone who is a stalker because that's who that person was a stalker um and you know uh, emotionally abusive to continue that behavior right if you ghost on somebody the good and the bad is that they rethink their behaviors they rethink what they did they rethink about what could i have done what did i do wrong and in some ways that's bad right most ways it's Right, if you're, if you're ghosting for the wrong reasons, and I think, well, sorry, I should have said why it's why it's bad. Right, if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, someone's going to end up really emotionally fraught, especially if you were in an intense relationship, whether that's a friendship, whether that's something with family, whatever it was. Right. Some people say, oh, it shows immaturity. Yes, in some cases, but in some cases, it shows maximum maturity because you're not continuing to engage with. I am not having a fruitless conversation that has to do with my mental, physical, you know, emotional health and well-being at all with you. It's fruitless. I'm not wasting the emotional labor. Goodbye. I'm done. I have built a bridge and gotten over it. I have moved on. And whether you've moved on or not, fuck you. So for me, it's not, it's not all bad. It's a lot bad, right? It's not bad. I had someone try to go something. My last, my last, was my last, like, what? My last ex-boyfriend tried to ghost on me. He was in a, I think I spoke, I did, I spoke around him in the bad vibes video. You know, I was getting this weird vibe off of him and then we went out, we hung out at something and then like a week later, I, I was trying to message him online for something. I was like, oh, when did you want to hang out again? Um, and then he wasn't online and then he, I tried to call his number, I tried to message him on, do we still have screen? I think it was still AOL. That shit's gone now. Oh, uh, aim. Sorry, I think it was still aim. And I tried, like, and it just wasn't working. I was like, oh my god, because I was worried he, because he has self harm tendencies. I was worried, you know, something happened. And no, he just messaged me like, oh, I'm still trying to fix myself. I forgot what it was. It was like a, it wasn't a, I, I don't, it wasn't not well thought out. It was a well thought out message. And I was like, okay, thanks. I'm just glad you're not dead or hurt. That was it, right? So he tried. He tried to ghost. But because he had self-harm disease, I was worried. Otherwise, I would have just been like, oh, it's over. You know, that's how it works, you know. But um, otherwise, like I said, I just don't. And I feel so bad. And I don't tell people in, like, like public. Because so many people post on Facebook ghosting is abuse. Ghosting, and it is. It is a very abusive thing. And people have done some awful things when they ghost on people. And it's like gaslighting. It is just awful. Not always. It's like murder. Most times it's really bad. 
Every once in a while, though, you really should murder somebody. Which sounds really bad out of context, like in self-defense and shit like that. I mean, there's other reasons, but self-defense. Uh, war crimes, certain things, you know, genocide, I think cleansing, that kind of thing. Um, like, there's a list. I have a list. I feel like I have a list. I do. I feel like I have a list. Um, my big, my biggest one is, like, self-defense. But I do. I feel like I have, like, a list of reasons that, um, I mean, and the courts have a list of reasons where murder is acceptable as well, so, haha, remember that. Um, but don't necessarily rely on the courts. For, anyway, um, but yeah. So that is the last video of 2019, just ending on a, a note. <laughs> Boy, what a note to end on. But I will see you all in 2019. You should still see, um, if I have a Feline Friday video that I film, you would see it that January. Or if I had a cooking video, you might see it that January, depending on how many cooking videos I do. I've only filmed a few so far. Um, but yeah, so. I will see you all in the next video, which will probably be not filmed, but put out in the next year. Bye.